Hi friends, let us continue the problems on the multiple and submultiple angle, compound angles, and other form transformation problems. Okay, prove that the following continuation. Next problem is tan 75 minus tan 30 minus tan 75 into tan 30 is equal to 1. Is okay, here we need to prove that LH is equal to RHS, RHS value is 1. After simplification of this LHS value, we have to get the RHS value as 1. How do we get it? Here, tan of 75 degree, tan of 30. Tan 30 degree value, we you know that. But 75, it is not a standard angle. Still, we have found out the tan of 75 value. How you found out the tan of 75 value? Means, we just split the tan 75 as, tan as it is, 75 is split as 45 plus 30. 45 is the standard angle, 30 is the standard angle. Simplifying, we got the tan of 75 degree. Okay. Anyway, we remove the tan of 75 degree value. Just replace it, simplify, we will get the RHS. Or apart from that, we have to take the LHS and we need to get the RHS part. So that instead of taking this value, what I just take is nothing but I just consider that already 75 30 degrees are. What is the 75 minus 30? What is the 75 minus 30 is equal to 45? Are you sure? So I just answer that 75 minus 30 is equal to 45. LH is equal to RHS, so it is equal. Now taking the tan ratio on both sides. Taking a tan ratio on both sides. Taking the tan ratio on both sides. As you people used to multiply. Suppose for example, 2x plus 5 is equal to 5 is a multiplying root by 3 dividing the root by 2 like that we used to do that in the same manner here also for the trigonometric ratio we can take the tan ratio on both sides so if I take a tan ratio on both sides what will we get? ok so here it is tan of 75 minus 30 is equal to tan of 45 Already know that tan of 45 degree value. What is the tan of 45 degree value? 1. Okay. Don't simplify this. Keep as it is and use the tan of A minus B formula. What is the tan of A minus B formula? Hmm. Already know the tan of A minus B formula. What is that? Tan A minus tan B. Whole thing divided by 1 plus tan A into tan B. Whole thing divided by 1 plus tan A into tan B is that. Using that formula in the LHS, what happens? In place of E, 75. In place of E, 30 degree. So, what I can write? Tan of 75 minus tan of 30. Whole thing divided by 1 plus tan 75 into tan of 30. Now, cross multiply. How do you simplify further? We have to get LHS equal to RHS. So, simplify. Now, cross multiply. What we get? tan of 75 minus tan of 30 is equal to 1 plus tan of 75 into tan of 30 degree. So, take this second comment to left hand side. What we get? Tan 75 as it is minus tan 30 as it is. This positive quantity comes to the left hand side and becomes a negative. So, tan 75 into tan of 30 is equal to how much? 1. Have got that? Required result LH is equal to RHS. You might observe here, I have not considered the LHS and after simplification I did not get the RHS. What I just did here, considering the different quantity, that we can directly consider tan of 75 minus 30 is equal to tan of 45. After simplification only 75 minus 30, we got a 45. So on simplifying, we just got this result. Okay. This way also we can prove it for the given result. Or else, other way means take the LHS. Other way is nothing but this is also the correct method. There is no problem at all. Now, other method means take the LHS value, replace the tan of 75 value and tan of 30 value, replace the simplifying, we will get the required answer. So, this is how we have to solve the problem. Now, next problem is. In the same manner, instead of the definite angle, here they need to do the general angle. For example, tan of 3 alpha minus tan of 2 alpha minus tan of alpha 
is equal to the tan of 3 alpha into tan of 2 alpha into tan of alpha. In this case, we need to prove that LHS is equal to the RHS. Here also the same thing I am just going to do because tan 3 alpha minus tan 2 alpha minus tan alpha is that here angles observe the angle 3 alpha 2 alpha alpha is that here also 3 alpha 2 alpha alpha is that here sum and difference is that here product is that how to convert a sum and difference into the product so that reason I just consider that let or consider whatever nothing to worry consider 3 alpha 3 alpha can be split as 2 alpha plus alpha shall I? 3 alpha can be written as 2 alpha plus alpha again the same thing which ratio is the tan ratio is the taking the tan ratio on both sides so what we get tan of 3 alpha is equal to tan of 2 alpha plus alpha left hand side tan of 3 alpha as this right hand side tan of a plus b just now only we have written what is the tan of a plus b tan of a 2 alpha plus tan of alpha both thing divided by 1 minus tan of 2 alpha into tan of alpha again cross multiply simplify we get the answer so what we get tan 3 alpha as this into denominator term cross multiply 1 minus tan 2 alpha into tan alpha is equal to tan of 2 alpha plus tan of alpha as this now tan of 3 alpha into this bracket what we get to tan of 3 alpha into 1 minus as it is tan of 3 alpha into tan of 2 alpha into tan of alpha is equal to right hand side quantity as this tan of 2 alpha plus tan of alpha now what we need exactly tan of 3 alpha already is that minus tan of 2 alpha is required so here product is that uh, observe the right hand side value here tan of 2 alpha and tan of alpha is if I take them, these two quantities to left hand side this is also negative this is also negative if I shift this product into right hand side it becomes a positive that's how we we'll just get the answer so tan of 3 alpha take the two terms to left hand side that is minus tan of 2 alpha minus tan of alpha is equal to tan of 3 alpha into tan of 2 alpha into tan of alpha hence LHS equal to the RHS which is called the reason ok this is how we have to solve the problem very important type of the problem for 3 marks the question ok now move to the next yes, next one is if sin theta is equal to 3 by 5 and theta is an equal angle then find the value of sin of 2 theta and cos of 2 theta here sin theta is 3 by 5 what is the sin of 2 theta and what is the cos of 2 theta previously we have found out that one ratio is given then remaining 5 ratios ok and here we have to observe that angle which quadrant angle is that whether it is it belongs to the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant or fourth quadrant like that here theta is an acute angle. Acute angle means the angle lies in between 0 to 90 degree. 0 to 90 degree is nothing but which quadrant? It is belong to the first quadrant. Okay. Theta belong to the first quadrant. All the trigonometric ratios are first two. Okay. Apart from that, we need to find the sine of 2 theta. Shall I multiply 2 to this number? Which is not possible because already we know the sine of 2 theta formula. What is the sine of 2 theta? 2 into sin theta into cos of theta if you require the sin of 2 theta you must have the sin theta and the cos of theta already sin theta is that we can easily get the cos of theta yes find the cos of theta apart from that one more value we need to find what is that one more value cos of 2 theta so here there are four results after from cos of 2 theta out of the four which one is suitable either we can take both sin and cos because sin is that we require to find the cos theta value or else we can use the only in terms of cos result to cos per theta minus 1 or else you can use the only in terms of sin result 1 minus 2 sin per theta or else you can use the in terms of tan result what is that 
1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta, whatever. So, in this case, I just use the pass of theta value or sin theta. As you are used to, there is no problem at all. I just use this one 2 cos theta minus. Now, here sin theta is here, find the cos of theta. How to find the cos of theta? Right angle triangle. Suppose this is the angle theta, then theta opposite side, sin theta definition, opposite divided by hypotenuse. What is the adjacent side? Adjacent side will be obviously 4 because 3, 4, 5 are the Pythagoras numbers. Triangle method or identity. What is the identity? That is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Using this one, we we'll get the required cos theta. Now I just use the triangle method. So what we get? Sin theta is d1. So d1 sin theta is 3 by 5. Theta belongs to the fifth quadrant, first quadrant, all are cos 2. What will be the cos of theta directly? Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. It is a positive quantity. Okay. Sin theta we have, cos theta we have. Then now we need to find the sin of 2 theta. What is the sin of 2 theta? One more time. Mention the formula 2 sin theta into cos of theta. So sin of 2 theta is equal to 2 times of what is the sin theta value? 3 divided by 5. What is the cos theta value? 4 divided by 5. Simplify. That's all. So 5 into 5, 25. 2 3 is 6. 6 into 4 that is 24. So sin of 2 theta is equal to 24 divided by 25. It is also positive. Order. Next. And one more value is that. What is that one more value? Cos of 2 theta. So what is the cos of 2 theta formula? I just consider this one. 2 cos square theta minus 1. So 2 as it is. Cos square theta is nothing but cos of theta whole square. What is the cos of theta? 4 is that divided by 5 whole square minus 1 simple part. 2 into 4 square 16, 5 square 25 minus 1. I just continue here. Cos of 2 theta is equal to 2 as 2 into 16, 32, 50, 25 is the LCM. So, 32 minus 25, that is 7, 7 divided by 25. 32 minus 25 is 7, 7 by 25. This is the required value of cos of 2 theta. Hence, which is for the sine of 2 theta, cos of 2 theta value. Respectively, 24 divided by 25 and 7 divided by 24. Obviously, same angle is that 2 theta. If it is a 2 theta, then this is the 24, this is the 25, obviously this side is a 7. 7, 24, 25 are the Pythagoras numbers. Anyway, next one is test. If tan of x is equal to 3 by 4, where y is less than x is less than 3 pi by 2, find the value of sin x by 2, cos x by 2 and tan of x by 2. Okay. Here tan x is equal to 3 by 4 is that. Some angle is that x. 3 by 4 tan of that value and x lies in between pi to 3 pi by 2. What is mean by pi? Pi is nothing but 180 degree. 3 pi by 2 is nothing but pi by 2 is 90. 93 is 270. So x lies in between 180 to 270. 180 to 270 is nothing but which quadrant? It is lies in the third quadrant. Third quadrant tan is positive or negative? Tan is positive. Okay. And what and Tan is plus 2, cot is plus 2, remaining are all negative. Which value we need to find? We are required to find the value of sin of x by 2 value, cos of x by 2 value and tan of x by 2 value. Okay. X is belong to the third quadrant. But x by 2, sin of x by 2 belong to which quadrant? Ah, here, that is a thing we need to follow here. That is, y is less than x is less than 3 by 5. First of all, x by 2 belong to the next quadrant. That one we need to find. Because after getting the sign of x by 2, whether we need to write the first value or negative value. So that reason, x by 2 belong to which quadrant? Uh, can you say that it is directly the first quadrant or second quadrant? Directly which is not possible. Let's try. Already they have given a condition for x. x belongs to which quadrant? Third quadrant. Third quadrant is nothing but 5 to 3 by 1. Or 
So it's a cos of x here is my cos of x minus 4 by 5. 4 is divided by 2. Simplify. 5 is LCM in the numerator. 5 minus 4 divided. 5 taken to the denominator 10. What is this part? 5 minus 4. What is the 5 minus 4? 1. 1 divided by 10. This is the cos square of x by 2. Cos square of x by 2 value is 1 divided by 10. Continue here. So here, now what we need the only the cos of x by 2. One more time, I just write the cos square x by 2 value is 1 by 10. But we need the cos of x by 2. Taking square root on both sides. So cos of x by 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 divided by root 10. Or else plus or minus root of 1 by 10. That's what we should. Here, plus or minus means is called. Which value we have to consider? Whether we have to consider only the positive value or only the negative value or both the values are suitable? Ah, come to the x by 2 angle. x by 2 angle belong to the which quadrant? x by 2 belong to the second quadrant. In a second quadrant, cos is positive or negative? In a second quadrant, cos is negative. So, the required cos of x by 2 value is only by the negative quantity. Therefore, hence the final answer of cos of x by 2 is minus 1 divided by root 10. Over. Are you clear? Very simple. Okay. Now, next, I need to find that sin of x by 2 value. Again, how do we find the sin of x by 2? The same formula you can use it. Or else, already the cos of x by 2 value, you know that. Use the trigonometric first identity, simplify, we will get the answer. How you use the first quadrant? Means we need the sin of theta or the sin, sin theta is equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta. Are you remember trigonometric first identity, related form? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. First of all, see the cos square theta, 1 minus cos square theta, left hand side sin square theta. Taking square root on both sides, here we try to plus or minus. So sin theta is equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus cos square theta. Already cos square of x by 2 values that we get the directly answer. Or else, again, we can use the formula. What is the formula that we can write as sin square x by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos of x divided by 2. Say, how do you get this one? You get this formula by the help of cos of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta converting into half angle. How do you convert? Divided by 2. Here also divided by 2. Sin square theta is required. Theta by 2 is required. Rearranging the term. 1 minus cos of theta divided by 2. 1 minus cos of theta divided by 2. Use this one or this one. So now I just use the trigonometric identities by trigonometric first identity by the trigonometric first identity. What is the trigonometric first identity? By using the trigonometric first identity, directly I am just writing the value. The sin of theta by 2 value is equal. So, or sin of x by 2 is equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus cos square of x by 2. So, here is simplify to get the answer. Or else, I just write here sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. We need the sin square theta. Value. So, 1 minus cos square theta. So, sin theta is equal to, is equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus cos square theta. But instead of the theta, here we have an angle x by. That's right. Okay. Sin of x by 2 is equal to what is the value? Plus or minus root of 1 as it is minus cos square x by 2. Direct value you know that. What is that? 1 divided by 10. Replace it. Simplify. Plus or minus root of 10 is the LCM. 10 minus 1. 9, 9 divided by 10. Root of 9 by 10 is nothing but 3 plus or minus 3 divided by root of 10. This is the sign of x by 2. But finally, here plus or minus is the plus or minus is the plus or minus 3 by root 10 is the 
x y to belong to which quadrant second quadrant second quadrant sign is positive or negative positive so we better to write her only the positive value so 3 divided by root and okay. this is the required answer so sin x y to value what cos x y to value we got now the finally tan x y to is required so what is the tan of x y to how to find the tan of x y to If we know the sin and cos ratio, we can easily get the tan value. How do we get the tan? Tan of x by two is equal to sin x by two divided by cos of x by two. That's all. Right. What is the sin x by two? Three divided by root ten. What is the cos of x by two? Minus is that? Give the minus sign. No need to worry. Afterwards, x by two. X by two is second quadrant. Second quadrant tan is positive or negative? Negative. So use it. Negative. So here it comes up negative value. So root ten to root ten get cancelled minus three. Can now to x y two. It is how much minus three. They are required to find the value of sin x y two, cos x y two, tan x y two. Respectively, are minus one by root ten. Sorry, three by root ten, minus one by root ten, and minus three for the sin x y two, cos x y two, and tan x y two. So this fact problems are also very important for their exam purpose as the competitive CET like that examples. So you know tan x by two, tan of x is given. Half angle value we can easily find, and multiple angle value also we can easily find. The both the type of problems has been over. Now now let's come to the next problem. Yes. Before going to the next problem, suppose I need to. Cross verify my answer. Whether the whatever the cos x by two, sin x by two, tan x by two values are there, whether we got the proper exact answer or it is wrong, how to verify? Uh, for verifying that answer, there is a particular condition is that or else we can easily cross verify. How to cross verify means already know the trigonometric identities. What are the trigonometric identities? First one, sine square. I just write in terms of half angle. Sine square x by two plus cos square x by two is equal to one because both are in the same. Then satisfy the condition. One more condition. Tan square of x one plus tan square x by two is equal to sine square x by two. One more result. One plus cos square x by two is equal to cos square of x by two. All these three conditions should be satisfied with respect to the given ratio. Here, sin cos is there. Sin cos is there means I just use the only the first identity. What is the first identity? L H S. Sin square x by two. What is the sin square x by two? First of all, sin x by two. All means sin x by two whole square plus cos x by two whole square. L H S value simplify. We have to get the answer as one. Check it. What is the sine of x by two? Three divided by root ten. Okay. Cos x by two. What is the cos of x by two? Minus one divided by root ten. Simply by. We have to get the one. Check it. Three square is nine. The root ten square is ten. Plus minus one square is one. Root ten square is ten. Ten is the calcium. Nine plus one is ten. Ten by ten is one. Yes. L H S equal to R H S. Whatever the answer we have got, that is correct. If sine and cos are correct, then obviously tan is correct because we use that result only. That's all. Are you clear? So that this is how we can verify the answers in the exam. Suppose if the time is left or time is permits, then we can cross check. Because suppose if we have already any mistake, small mistake, we we'll get the rectified there. Okay. Now go to the next. Yes. Find the value of sine x by two. Cos x by two and tan x by two. Same as the previous problem. Here, cos x by two is equal. Cos of x is equal to minus one by three. Where x belongs to the third quadrant. X belongs to the third quadrant is the third quadrant. Obviously, cos is negative. Okay. So here, one by three is done. It is not a perfect Pythagoras number. So that reason, to find the sine of x, I just use the trigonometric first identity. Root of one minus cos square of x. What is the sine of x? Root of one minus. That is one by nine. Is equal to eight divided by nine. We can simplify. So here eight by nine is nothing but eight is root of eight. We can put as two root two divided by 
हैं ये एक्स प्लस और माइनस और जिस टाइप का साइन ऑफ एक्स एक्स ऑलरेडी गिवन थर्ड क्वार्टर सो दैट इट विल राइट आज अ नेगेटिव क्वांटिटी साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस 2 इनटू रूट ऑफ डिवाइडेड बाय 3 ऑलरेडी नो दैट रूट ऑफ ए क्या है ना रूट ऑफ 4 इनटू 2 4 कैन बी प्लस 2 टू प्लस टू रूट 2 ओके एनीवे सो साइन एक्स वैल्यू नो दैट कॉस एक्स वैल्यू नो दैट बट वी नीड टू फाइंड द साइन ऑफ एक्स बाय सो ऑलरेडी नो दैट साइन स्क्वायर ऑफ एक्स बाय 2 इज इक्वल व्हाट इज दैट 1 माइनस कॉस ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय already know the cos of x will be to place it. 1 minus what is the cos of x minus 1 by 3 minus minus plus 1 by 3 divided by 2 as it is 3 is the LCM 3 plus 1 4 3 come to the denominator 3 to the 6 so sin square x by 2 is equal to 4 divided by 6 but we need the sin of x by 2 taking square on both side plus or minus root of 4 divided by 6 Here we can answer two two is a two three is a so root of two divided by three so this is the sine of x by two what is the sine of x by two sine x by two is equal to plus or minus two divided by three but whether we need to consider the positive value or negative value ah first of all we have to get that x by two belong to the which quadrant here x belong to the third quadrant x belong to the third quadrant means what is the range third quadrant means 182 270 x by 2 180 divided by 2 that is the 90 divided to root by 2 90 is less than x by 2 is less than 135 okay x by 2 belong to which quadrant x by 2 belong to the second quadrant okay x by 2 second quadrant means sin of x by 2 plus or minus is that whether it is a positive value or negative value Second quadrant sine is positive, so it is considered only the positive value. What is the sine of x by two? Sine x by two is root of two by three positive value. Next, we are required to find the cos of x by two. We know the formula. What is the cos of x by two? On cos square x by two. Cos square x by two is equal to here it is a plus one to plus cos of x. Divided by simplify. What we get? One plus of cos x value. How much? Minus is that? Minus into plus minus one by three divided by. So three is the same denominator. Three minus one is two divided by three. The same from ten to the denominator into two. Two to get the answer. One divided by three. So it is the cos square of x by two is equal to one by two. Then cos of x by 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 divided by root 2. x by 2 belongs to which quadrant? Second quadrant. Second quadrant cos is positive or negative? Negative. So here substitute right the negative value. So cos of x by 2 is equal to how much? Minus minus 1 divided by root 3. Cos x by 2 is minus 1 by root 3. Now tan x by 2 what is the tan x by 2 already sin and cos we have just write the tan x by 2 tan is nothing but sin x by 2 divided by cos x by 2 sin x by 2 is value root of 2 divided by 3 and cos of x by 2 value is 1 divided by root 3 so root of 2 divided by 3 we have root 2 divided by root 3 here 1 by root 3 root 3 root 3 get cancel So what is that? Root is that. This is the tan of x by two. And apart from that, whether it is a positive value or negative value, x by two belongs to the which quadrant? Second quadrant. So it is negative quantity. So tan x by two is equal to minus root. Are you sure? Very simple problems. So based on this type of problems, let's take up homework problem. Yes, take these are the homework problems. Find the sine x by two, cos x by two, tan x by two. In each of the following, these two problems, tan x is given minus four by three, where x belongs to the second quadrant. Second quadrant, tan is taken, and sine x is one by four, where x belongs to the second quadrant. Second quadrant, sine is positive. For this two value, find this two value. And next one, please. If sine x is equal to pi by thirteen, find sine three a and cos three a. 
As the people pondered, suppose sin theta of or a cos theta, sin of 2 theta, cos of 2 theta pondered. In the same manner, sin a is given. And we need to find the sin of 3a cos of 3a value. Already you know the sin 3a cos 3a value. What is the cos 3a? 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. Sin 3 is 3 cos plus 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a. Using that identity, we can easily find this one. In the same manner, this one cos a is 3 pi pi. And apart from that, this type of problem is also over. If sin a is 3 pi pi, where angle a is lies in between 90 to 180. 90 is less than a is less than 180. That means a belongs to the second quadrant. Right? In this case, find the sin 2a, cos a, and tan of 2a. Here, 2a angle belongs to which quadrant? We have to find. So that multiplied by 2 here. So we will get the required answer. But to solve these problems, we will get the practice. Okay. The remaining problems will continue in the next video. Okay. Thank you.